that's just been for various reasons but every time I did make a video well tried to make a video previously it didn't quite go to plan I was blanking and yeah it was just hard so I kind of gave up on making videos myself for a while but I decided to give it another go again um, so yeah today's video uh, the original plan was to come out to a stretch of canal I've never fished before and try and sh show you how I would fish for Xander or how I'd find Xander on those waters. That kind of didn't go to plan. Um, when I got to the, the new water, I realized I fished there before and it just, it wasn't very good. I tried for a few lures down there. It just, I just didn't have any confidence in it. And if I'm fishing a water that I've got no confidence in, I just won't waste my time there. I just don't see, don't see any point. So I've come to a stretch, I've fished a few times, but it's still relatively new to me. I don't quite know the ins and outs of it yet, as I'd like to, well, as I would plan to get to know a stretch. So I'm going to try and do the same thing here. I'm just going to show you a few tips, tricks, you name it, whatever you want to call it, on how to locate Xander and then go about catching them. So let's get into it. So, first swim that I've come to today, there's a big reed bed on the far bank, and that just screams fish to me. I have fished here, as I said, a couple of times, but I've not done really well against this reed bed. But for me, there's no reason that there shouldn't be a fish here. So I'm just going to work it, work the reed bed quite quickly to see if I can locate any fish. gone for quite sort of a natural colour today so there's not that much colour in the water compared to a lot of a lot of canals I fish for Xander so I reckon natural is the way to go might not be right but we'll see There's a lot more depth on the near bank. Than there is on the far bank. Quite low. 
so I can stay in contact with the lure. Just gonna have a flick along this near bank because as I said there's a lot of depth there and in the colder months I'd expect to see fish sitting in those deep holes. I think I've got something on the lure there because it's not sinking properly. Down the middle channel. So I've worked the area quite thoroughly and I've not had a tap, so I'm going to move on. I'm not going to spend too long in a location where. Next swim is this bridge here. Not the biggest bridge, but it's still a form of cover. And it's normally a little bit deeper beneath bridges as boats, as you can see, the canal narrows. And boats have to travel, travel through this small channel, creating a deep channel under the water. And a lot of the time you'll find fish sitting underneath there in the deep water. It's making it really hard to fish. fish on. And there we go. Like it the fish tend to sit. sit. In those deeper channels. Waiting for an ambushing bait fish. Nicely hooked this one, see, as you can see. I really wanted that. Come on, buddy. Beautiful canal Z. Just gonna drop him in the net. See if there's any more home.
So I've just missed another bite. Zeds and perch do coexist. Nice little stripey. Dropping back. After catching those two fish at the bridge, the bites dried up in that swim, so I decided it was time for a move a bit further down the canal where I'd target some far bank cover. There we go. Another small Z. This time taken on the near bank right at my feet and away he goes but yeah it just goes to show the importance of working the near bank as I mentioned before it's more or less one of the only features for miles of canal in certain areas just twitching the bait back very slowly today well, I wouldn't say extremely slowly but quite slowly giving the fish a long time to watch that bait fall and hopefully have a go at it Fish on. Another angry canal Z, a bit bigger than the last one. You right? This is Xander. Yeah. Nice little fish. Dropping back. Seem to have landed on a small shoal. I did originally stop here because of that overhanging foliage on the far bank, but there seems to be a few fish. Mid-water. Well, in the boat channel. Along here, so... And they keep fishing it. Definitely seem to be feeding quite hard today. That was a savage take, that one. Boat moorings, bends and turning bays on canals are all hot spots for Xander. And luckily for me, this next area had all three. There we 
Omega. Fish on. Another small Zander. <laughs> Very small Zander. But I seem to want a straight retrieve now rather than hopping it along the bottom. So what I'm doing, I'll show you in a second, is casting out trying not to hook any leaves on the way down I allow the lure to sink to the bottom and then slowly keeping the rod tip high so the lure's not dragging the bottom slowly winding in so that tail wobbles perch this time. I watched him follow the lure. Not a big fish but good fun all the same. So there you go. Just a short video on how I would go about finding Xander on a new water or a water that I fished before. Sometimes it makes no difference, they're still as hard to find. So yeah, just a short one with a few bits of information that I hope you can use. And yeah, hopefully I can get a few more videos up sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, until next time, goodbye.